What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sponge Plugin Programming. Today we're going to make creating configuration files easier by moving away from programmatically creating them and instead loading it directly from our assets folder. This way we can avoid having to create and populate nodes from within our code like we're currently doing, which in the end will make our plugin easier to maintain and build upon in the future. The first thing we want to do is to create the directory structure that will contain our configuration files. And to start this, let's go to our main directory, and within that, we want to create a directory called Resources. So we will right-click on this, go to New, Directory. We will call this Resources. And within that Resources directory, we want to create another one called Assets. New Directory, Assets. And once again, another directory called sponge skills or whatever you named your plugin and once that's created we can go ahead and create our first configuration file the skills.conf file so within that new file skills.conf and for this file we can simply just copy what's currently in our skills.conf file into here and that's all that we have to do for that one so we can move on to our main configuration file now which is sponge skills.conf and we're just going to leave this file empty for now but just for future use we'll go ahead and make it and with that done let's head on over to our main java class and what we want to do in here is we want to go and inject another variable and this variable will be at inject private plugin container and we'll call it plugin container import it and while we're at it, we also want to create a getter function so we can grab this plugin container from our other files. Get plugin container. And all we want to do is just return the plugin container. With our getter function created, we can move on to our skill manager class now. And in here, we just want to add the code necessary to load in the resources, in this case, the skills.conf file that we created right here. First of all, I think it would be best to not have the skills file variable, this guy right here, as a class-wide variable. Instead, let's make it a local variable, and we'll do that in just a bit. But for now, remove the line. You will get some errors, but we'll go ahead and fix that in just a second. And scroll on down to the setup skill config function, and just remove the entire thing. Now, most of this is going to be the same, but we're just going to rewrite it because it's good practice. So let's start doing that. Private void. Setup skill config. And we want a file called the skills file. Equals new file. Plugin.git config directory. Dot to file. And the file we want to create is the skills.conf file. And we also want to create a loader variable, which is equal to the Hocon configuration loader dot builder dot set file to the newly created file just above it, the skills file dot build. And now we want to go about actually loading in our skills.com file from our assets folder and transfer that stuff to the actual file within our configuration directory or our server. In order to do this, we want a try catch loop, sorry, try catch block that's going to be looking or catching an IO exception because we are dealing with input and output. There is a possibility of that input and output throwing an exception. And if an exception does occur, you want to go ahead and warn using logger.warn. And we can just say something like an error occurred while setting up the skills configuration file. And within the try block, we want an if statement that's going to check to see if the skills file exists. So exclamation point for not skills file dot exist. This is just checking to see if the skills file does not exist. And we want to grab the skills file from our assets folder and copy that to our skill file here. And this is as simple as doing plugin dot get plugin container 
That's our getter function that we just created a little while ago. Dot get asset. And the asset we want to get is skills.conf. This will go ahead and grab the skills.conf file from our assets folder here, which we just created a little while ago as well. And we want to do dot copy, or excuse me, dot get, dot copy to file. And we just want to copy it to skills file dot to path. And outside of this if statement, we just want to do skills config equals loader dot load. Our new setup skill config function will now load the file directly from our assets folder, meaning we no longer have to generate it from within our code. And that's not the only great thing about this. Since the file already contains the skill information, we're now able to remove the two skill files we created earlier, as well as all the code that depends on those files. Let's go ahead and do that. We can remove the mining skill class. As well as the woodcutting skill class. For now, we will hold onto the skill interface that we have because there is still some code that depends on it, and we will go about changing this later so it works a little bit differently. Now, since we removed those files, there are going to be a couple of errors here. So, to fix that, we will remove these two imports, we remove the two references here, as well as these two guys. And that should be about it in terms of errors with that. Now what we can do is head back over to our main configuration, or our main Java class, and go about loading the main configuration file from the resources folder as well. Our current code is creating and loading the config from our pre-init function, so let's head on down to that function or head on up to this function. And let's remove the code that does that and replace it with a function call instead. And we'll just call this setup config. Again, it'll error out right now as we don't have the function created, but we will go ahead and fix that right now. It'll be private void setup config. A try catch block. Once again, since we are dealing with input and output, there is a chance an IO exception can occur. We want to make sure we catch that and warn the server owner about it. We'll just do another logger.warn telling them that an error occurred while setting up the main configuration file. And within this try catch block, again, we're just going to be checking to see if the default config dot to file dot exists. If it doesn't exist, then we want to do the plugin container dot get asset. The asset we want to get is sponge skills.conf. Again, this line will go ahead and grab the sponge skills.conf file from our assets folder there. After this, dot get dot copy to file default config. And outside of that if statement, we want to set the config equal to loader.load. And that's it. We are now loading both of our configuration files from the assets folder instead of programmatically creating them each time. Now before testing this, make sure that both of your skills and sponge skills configs are removed from your config folder because without doing that, we won't be able to see to make sure that our new code here is working properly. So go ahead and do that if, it's not, if they're not already deleted. What will happen now is when our plugin loads, it will now copy the configuration files from our resources folder instead of generating them from within our code like they were doing previously. So let's launch up the server to see if this is actually working how we want it to work. If everything worked properly, you shouldn't notice a difference and you should still be able to see that the skills.com file and the sponge skills.com file are being created properly. And if we go about opening up the skills.com file, you should still notice that it has the same exact contents as it did previously. With all that working properly, that will conclude this episode. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.